Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, there has been a lot of uh, uh, arguments about a lot of negative things in our political history. There were a lot of uh, uh, arguments uh, uh, mentioning a number of things about uh, what the MSM did, what the MSM didn't do, what Sir Anirul Jagna did and uh, 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 Anirul Jagna didn't do. There was a lot of politicking. But when I said, Madam, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, let us look at the sunroof and break the glass ceiling. And we have been able to break the glass ceiling in this country. We have been able... <laughs> I said the roof. We have been able to break the ceiling and to reach new frontiers in our democracy. We did it for the Republic, making Mauritius a Republic in 1991, in spite of what happened in this assembly in 1990. We know what happened in this debate here. How MLAs were made not to participate in the votes. And we broke the ceiling then. We broke also the ceiling, the glass ceiling. When the MMM-MSM alliance made Paul Béranger become the prime minister in this country. This was a glass ceiling. This, we are talking about poly, our poly, communal politics. Yeah. We stood up, we went to the whole country, in spite of all the criticism from the PMSD and the, and the Labour Party. We stood by this decision. Sani Jagnat stood by this decision. And we were proud the day we stood to be sworn in with uh, Paul Béranger as Prime Minister. They, we did break that ceiling, so we can do it, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. Because this country is able to do it. And I totally agree, we, have, we can be very idealistic. Some people are cynical, but they say they have a dream. But I say that we can be, have a vision, we can move forward. Democracy with a, form, with a fundamental remote, uh, with a fundamental political reform can, can, can come only incrementally. This is why I'm, my appeal goes to the MMM. The MMM has been consistent. The MMM has been consistent on political reform. They have also been consistent on a number of things. We have been together. What separates us to today is how we calculate the PR seats. That's the only difference. Veda Balamudi, Honorable Balamudi said it's an issue of philosophy. Yes, but I explain why we are convinced that we should promote stability more than fairness. And uh, Honorable Shakil Mohammed started to make a debate about being fair. No, this is fundamental politics, is what is the assembly that comes in to govern this country because we have to make decisions for the better, for the better future of our country. My appeal to the MMM is that they, what they, we have always had a sentence Today, in this bill, we have the representation of women. Rodrigue will have a representation of three MLAs, including one or two women MLAs. We will have, at the next election, with two alliances, at least 40 women running in the 20 constituencies. We are going to have a legislation Maybe it's not the best legislation as regards to anti-defection, because the best legislation as regards to anti-defection, it does not exist. We have tried to inspire ourselves from India. We have to learn. This process is incremental. There is no ideal political reform in Mauritius. And because of all the differences between the different parties, we should have a consensus. And we should move forward incrementally. I mentioned <coughs> the issue of women. I mentioned the issue of bringing a dose of, of uh, proportionality. I've also mentioned the anti-defection. Now, we didn't want to bring an omnibus legislation, as was the case in the past, where the financing of political <coughs> parties, new powers to be given to the Electoral Commission, about the declaration of assets, everything came in one omnibus legislation. 
That's why we have come with the legislation as regards to the general, to the National Assembly. Some members from the MMM have said, honorable members have said that, why didn't you bring uh, a legislation for women, one for uh, anti-defection, we would have voted, because we, uh, we, are, we are not agreeable with the way in which the PR system is being allocated. This legislation is a legislation as regards to representation in parliament. So we have to bring everything together. And I've explained why the MSM over the years have been consistent because we are, maybe the MSM all the time thinks in terms of governing, or being at the head of the country, or being able to have a comfortable majority. Maybe this is in our DNA. Maybe it is within our DNA of the Sanyo Jagnat, the new Prime Minister, Pravin Jagnat. Maybe it is in our DNA. Because we want to have a majority to run this country to be able to make it better. And at the same time, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I believe that the legislation that we have brought, it's not ideal. All that has been said as regards to uh, ethics in politics, as regards to how parties are governed, we have lived with that. We cannot change, on peut pas amener tout chambouler. À ce propos, Monsieur le Président, je souhaiterais quand même vous dire que le MSM a son bureau politique qui se réunit régulièrement. Ce que je voudrais dire, Monsieur le Président, c'est une avancée de la démocratie. Et qu'est-ce que, qu'est-ce qui, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé C'est la première fois qu'un gouvernement, un premier ministre, a eu le courage politique d'emmener une réforme, de ventiler la réforme. Au, au, au début, on était en train de nous critiquer pourquoi on n'amène pas la réforme. On n'a pas le courage d'emmener la réforme. On n'a pas de réforme à amener. On n'a pas de proposition à faire. Mais le Premier ministre a fait la conférence de presse. On a annoncé la réforme. On a ventilé la réforme. On a attendu les propositions de la réforme. Nous n'en avons pas eu beaucoup. On attendait, je pense, beaucoup du MMM pour qu'il y ait, pour, pour nous dire qu'on n'est pas d'accord avec ça. On est d'accord avec euh, cet élément-là. On n'est pas d'accord avec euh, cette façon de faire le calcul. Et là, aujourd'hui, euh, Honorable Anand Ganou a fait un certain nombre de propositions. Mais nous avions, nous voulions voir, parce que nous voulons que cette législation passe. Nous savons que nous n'avons pas les trois quarts. Mais nous savons qu'au plus profond de nous, nous voulons changer fundamentalement la façon de ce Parlement est constitué. We have this conviction and we want to change it, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. Let me now come to this issue of uh, whether, how can we, how can we replace the best loser system and ensure a fair and adequate representation of each community if we do not have, as I said, the mathematical figures. This cannot be done. And there have been a number of options. We talked about subsuming the, uh, that list into the main list. Uh, we talked about a separate list. I also heard all the arguments for those who want to have a, a, a census and who wants to keep the BLS as it is with the mathematics of it. But I would like to say that if we go through down memory lane and with the handsets, we'll have the impression that there are speeches which date back to 50 years. I'm very sad about that. That a new generation of PMSD MLAs should adopt that type of speech. But anyway, time is running, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. And uh, we took time to bring this because we had to work on the different aspects of this legislation. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, we have the will, we have the determination, and I, we believe that we have come with a piece of legislation which answers 
a number of queries within our population. And it also, it's a legislation which answers to our promise for the dose of proportional representation, for the enhancement of women representation, for a anti-defection law. And today, we know that the opposition has been very critical about it, but I would like them to think about it again and to understand why stability, why we need a system that we can govern because we cannot go to the polls after an election, six months, one year, two years down the road, and each time we have a problem. A slim majority is a very dangerous thing, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. We cannot give to our constitution an instrument which will be of chronic instability in the country. We are builders. We want to run this country, we want to build this country, and we need to have a stable majority to build it and to make a, have a feel-good factor in the country. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker.